Although terrestrial experts have achieved many groundbreaking milestones in the past, there are countless mysteries in the universe that are still waiting to be unraveled. The question of the exact formation processes of moons has always been one of the most central aspects of modern space research. A breathtaking discovery in the constellation Centaur will help scientists solve this cosmic mystery once and for all. Which structure in the proximity of a Jupiter-like exoplanet holds experts spellbound? And some amazing discoveries scientists have recorded in the recent past will reveal to you now. We hope you enjoy today's video. Want to join us on our journey to the greatest mysteries of the universe? Then remember to subscribe to Simply Space and click on the bell to stay up to date from now on. If you like our excursions into the gigantic expanses of the universe, feel free to give us a thumbs up. The Birth of Moons The exact history of the origin of Earth's moon is still one of the biggest astronomical mysteries. Although there are several plausible theories concerning the birth of our satellite, none of these possible explanations can be proven beyond doubt. This is mainly due to the fact that the Earth-Moon constellation is already a fully formed system, which means that experts are barred from observing the different steps in the formation of the celestial bodies firsthand. In order to understand how planets and their natural satellites actually form, it is therefore indispensable to direct our gaze to those cosmic areas in which celestial bodies float that have not yet fully completed their developments. And indeed, researchers recently succeeded in recording a genuine galactic milestone within the framework of such an observation. In fact, scientists could soon be granted the opportunity to directly observe the formation of moons around a distant exoplanet for the first time. The galactic object of desire, which moved into the center of scientific attention, is approximately 370 light years away from our blue homeland planet and bears the name PDS 70C. It's a Jupiter like exoplanet in the constellation Centaur, which orbits a very young 5.4 million year old star. This star, which is still in its cosmic infancy, has about 75% of the mass of the Sun. Due to the young age of this system, planet formation is still in full swing. PDS 70C and its sister planet, PDS. S70b saw the light of the galactic world only relatively recently. A breathtaking discovery. Around the exoplanet PDS 70c is a circumplanetary disk. These annular clusters of matter, composed of gases, dust, and debris, are considered significant reservoirs of material from which natural satellites can form. The images, provided by the ALMA Observatory in Chile, show that the moon forming disk has a diameter of about 100 million miles, roughly equivalent to the distance between the Sun and the Earth. According to experts, the circumplanetary disk around the exoplanet has enough material to form up to three moons the size of Earth. The gigantic gas planet PDS 70C is again twice as large as the mighty Jupiter and needs 227 years to circle its ancestor host star once. The gas and dust deposits within the disk around the exoplanet join together as a result of multiple collisions to form ever larger solid bodies before they finally emerge as full-grown moons. This basic pattern of formation has been discussed among experts for quite some time, but until now, the experts had never been able to document these breathtaking processes firsthand. That the identification of PDS 70C is an astronomical discovery of extraordinary importance becomes clear when we consider how short-lived circumplanetary disks typically are. For example, the natural birthplaces of moons usually disappear 10 million years after the formation of the planet. Although scientists have already succeeded in adding some 4,000 exoplanets to stellar maps, these have always been fully formed systems in which the circumplanetary disks had already disappeared many millions of years ago. In fact, PDS 70B and PDS 70C are currently the only known exoplanets that have not completed their evolution. Yet, we have only known of the existence of these two giant planets since 2018 and 2019. 
So while PDS 70C is demonstrably surrounded by a moon-forming disk, experts could find no evidence that such a collection of matter also exists around PDS 70B. From these circumstances, researchers draw the conclusion that PDS 70B was literally starved by its sister planet. This means that PDS 70C itself absorbed most of the matter that remained after the formation of the system. The knowledge gained so far concerning the formation of the moon around the exoplanet is to be deepened and extended in detail within the framework of future research. In particular, scientists have high hopes for the information that will be provided in the future by the extremely large telescope in the Atacama Desert. This highly complex technical instrument of the European Southern Observatory, which is scheduled to go into operation in 2027, will be the world's largest optical telescope with a 120-foot diameter primary mirror. In the future, experts would like to observe in detail the gas movements in the immediate vicinity of PDS 70C in order to obtain a complete 3D image of how the systems interact and how the moons are ultimately formed. Foreign Water Worlds The planet K2-18b, which orbits a red dwarf 124 light-years away from us, hit the headlines a few years ago when experts were able to prove the existence of water vapor and liquid water in the atmosphere of the celestial body. Inspired by this groundbreaking discovery in the constellation Leo, a scientific team led by astrophysicist Nico Medusadin decided to derive an entirely new class of exoplanets, which they christened Hycian. The term is composed of the English terms hydrogen and ocean. If one follows the remarks of the experts, then such strange water worlds actually occur much more frequently than rock planets with limited water areas, ones that the scientists had until now assumed had the largest chances for the existence of extraterrestrial life forms. In order to classify these hypothetical Hycians, with regard to their potential habitability, researchers at Britain's Cambridge University first directed their attention to the extreme conditions in the terrestrial seas. Although these regions initially appear to be extremely hostile to life, it was nevertheless possible to detect microorganisms at deep sea thermal vents that had successfully adapted to the pressure and temperature conditions there of over 175 degrees Fahrenheit. As a result, the average surface temperatures of a habitable celestial body could, in theory, be significantly higher than on our blue home planet. To narrow down the detectable signatures of extraterrestrial life forms, Medusadin's team turned their attention to the question of which chemical substances could provide clues to the existence of life. In particular, they looked for those gases that are released during the metabolic processes of microorganisms. These include carbon sulfide, chloromethane, and carbonyl sulfide. If an alien planet were to harbor living organisms, these gases would also have to be detectable in the atmosphere of the corresponding celestial body. Experts are convinced that these traces of alien life will soon be identified with the help of the James Webb Space Telescope. The Infrared Space Telescope which was developed as part of a joint project between NASA, ESA, and CSA, is scheduled to be launched into its designated orbit on December 18th, 2021, after years of delays. The Formation of Supergalaxy Clusters Supergalaxy clusters are among the largest structures in the universe that are visible to us. Specifically, these are collections of several galaxy clusters which have admittedly been known for quite some time, but whose background experts could only conjecture up until now. A report published a few weeks ago in the journal Astronomy and Astrophysics now raises the hope that this will change fundamentally soon. In the course of their work, researchers came across a group of objects that are suspected to be a developing accumulation of galaxies. For example, our home galaxy, the Milky Way, belongs to a cluster of galaxies called the Local Group. This is for its part a component of the Virgo supercluster, which belongs to the Laniakea, large supercluster of galaxies of its sign. In this case, the scientific problem arises that researchers are practically confronted with already completed galactic formations. What did the corresponding superclusters look like many billions of years ago? And which factors favored their mergers? These and other questions may now be deciphered in the course of the more detailed study of the newly discovered Proto Supergalaxy Cluster. In detail, the cosmic formation, christened G237, 
is composed of 63 individual galaxies identified with the help of the Japanese Subaru telescope. Based on the cosmological principle that the universe is homogeneous and isotropic, scientists suspect that our Milky Way may have once docked as a proto-supercluster node like G237 when it was still very young. Put simply, one can imagine such galaxy proto-clusters like cosmic galaxy shipyards in which massive galaxies are formed. We anxiously await any new discoveries that the experts will make concerning this highly exciting topic in the future. Your opinion interests us. What are your thoughts on today's post? We're already looking forward to your comments. Would you like to see more exciting videos on the topic of space? Then click on one of the images in the credits to get to the other contributions on our channel. Thanks for your interest. Take care, and we'll see you next time.